Today, we launch the second World Ocean Assessment. This is the only global integrated assessment of the world's ocean along all three pillars of sustainable development. Hundreds of scientists from around the world came together to assess the state of the ocean and strengthen the ocean science policy interface at the global level. Alas, the findings are alarming. Pressures from many human activities continue to degrade the ocean and destroy essential habitats, such as mangrove forests and coral reefs, hindering their capacity to help address climate change impacts. These pressures also come from human activities on land and coastal areas, which bring dangerous pollutants into the ocean, including plastic weight. We've only seen about 10% of the ocean. So much of the ocean has let to be, yet to be really explored and understood. The second world ocean assessment really is addressing this great gap in our understanding of this most important part of the planet. And this is the time to step back and dive in, to really look at the problems look at the solutions to see how the interests of humankind are so connected to the ocean and what we must do and must do quickly because we have also seen in the last few decades a decline of the ocean. The ocean is in trouble. We need the ocean, but the ocean now needs us to take care of these systems that make our existence possible.